This is my first attempt to create a rose using a straw. Yes, you heard me, a straw. So go ahead, give your paintbrush a break. No paintbrush required for this beautiful technique. You guys are gonna love this one. Check it out. Hello everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I wanted to create, actually I wanted to show you how I created a rose by just simple pouring paint on the canvas and then blowing it out with a straw. Just a simple straw. All right guys, I know you guys um, have been watching a lot of my Dahlia pour painting um, using my spoon swipe technique. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for liking the videos. It has really helped my channel tremendously. I wanna say thank you guys so much for the support. As you can see, I'm using two base colors. I'm using black and I'm using yellow. And of course, the name, the brand name of the paints I'm using will be listed in the description box below. And then I'll, I'm only gonna use the red paint for my rose. And that's just it. All right, but based on how I'm blowing the, uh, the, the colors, the yellow is gonna give it a little bit of uh, accent, a little bit of, um, you know, give it that, that rose form. It's, it's gonna help to, um, to create the rose in the form that I want. It was a bit of a challenge because you know what guys, like I've, I've said in my previous videos, if you were painting this with a paintbrush or if you were drawing this with a pencil, obviously it's, you know, way easier. It's easier to manipulate. If you make a mistake, you can always just erase it, start over, you know, adjust something and just fix it. But this is a fluid art and that's why I love the fluid art because you'll have this idea in your mind and you want to put it on the canvas you want and then you want to make sure you want to try to see if you can achieve the idea that you had in your mind you know but with the float art it normally never works like that you pour the paint on the canvas and then you want to get some some result that's in your mind but it's not gonna happen I mean it might happen um, similar to what you have in mind but it's usually a little bit off right but that's why I love it because it's a surprise it's really a surprise and you you just want to keep trying and work at it and you know and it's a surprise for me and I just I love it right the only thing I'm sure of is the colors I'm using and the canvas. I'm not sh quite sure of the outcome, but this is what I would love, but I'm not sure of the outcome. I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's why I really love it. It's like, it's a challenge and I just want to get up every day and put what I have in my mind on the canvas. So that being said, guys, I just had this idea of doing a rose I've seen a picture of a rose and you know and I just wanted to use just two colors and I was thinking of fire I don't know I just love my fire colors so I, I just uh, thought of using red and yellow you know I, I could have done just all red but I've done something in just red and black so I wanted to just add yellow to you know contrast just to add a bit of a difference you know just to make it the, the, the red rose pop a little bit more against the black so that was my idea <laughs> so as you guys can see i just uh, i'm just layering the red along the outer edges of the yellow and then i'm just using the straw to blow it out all right and of course the consistency of my paint is to be honest is a little bit thicker than my uh my dahlia swipe so this paint is a little bit thicker and uh it's actually easier to blow it up with the with the straw or even if you use your mouth than if, if it's the blow dryer because the blow dryer probably wouldn't have moved the paint as freely you know as as how the straw is really working for me right so and it's a smaller painting on a smaller canvas i really didn't want to use the blow dryer but that's just something for another day right 
so the straw actually gives you a little bit more control uh you know this is only i'm only advising you to give this a try if you're in good health because obviously guys you know you have to have that good lungs to actually blow with a straw all right so if you're in good health and you want to go for it go for it guys but you know just make sure that you're in good health all right so as you can see guys i'm just working on the outer petals of the rose uh to create this uh today's painting so i've started on the outer petals and i have blow use a straw to blow in various directions you know i hope you guys were watching you know because this is actually just my first time doing this and to be honest i love to record myself doing my work my journey so i, I can actually share it with you because at the end of the day if i am not too happy with it and i know you know maybe i've have done some great work that you probably would have loved but if i don't like it and if i don't feel too comfortable i really probably just won't won't share it you know and maybe that's actually bad <laughs> but i really should start sharing most of my my uh, my work some of my experiments because it's like an experiment this is something i was experimenting it's the idea i had in my mind i just wanted to just you know bring it out on canvas so just bear with me guys and i just do hope that you know what you you'll love it uh give me a thumbs up like and share my video of course with your friends and family you know i would really really appreciate that and of course i'm going to use this opportunity to say thank you to all my returning subscribers all my new viewers and uh if you haven't subscribed yet guys you know make this an opportunity for you to subscribe to my channel help to keep my channel growing so that you know i can always get up feel motivated and want to share more fun videos with you because you know what guys my creative brain is always just ticking i just love you know to challenge my my brain to say you know what camille if someone can paint that with a paintbrush why can't i just pour paint on canvas and create something just as magnificent so that's just me i love to challenge myself you know the fluid art keeps me sane you know it 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 helps to quiet my brain down because some you know we just have so much things going on that the moment i start painting i'm just in a different zone so i'm happy that i get to share my experience my experiment with every single one of you guys and i'm really happy that i can motivate someone to get up and try to think outside the box and to just be your own creative person and just to make the art your own so that's what i want for you all right guys so i just do hope you enjoyed today's show i'm gonna be quiet now <laughs> and of course i'll see you guys for the close-up of the wet result so don't go away thank you
and here it is the close-up guys what do you think about this one i mean honestly i am pretty happy with the result i know i could have uh, stopped tweaking it a long time ago but you know i just kept at it um maybe i had have overworked it a bit but you know what guys it's a start and it's only going to get better with practice so like i said before this is my first attempt and i'm very happy with the result um, you know, so let me know what you guys think about today's painting. There's no dry resolve for today So I'll have the dry resolve for this one. Maybe when I varnish it or resin it. So guys, let me know uh, What you think about today's painting leave me a comment like and share my videos with your friends and family Check out my various playlists that I have created for you at your own convenience and of course I will see you guys next time Bye